Hello, hello, hello. So today is an impromptu video because I just want to talk about what we're doing in preparation for Carnival. And I say Carnival because those of you who follow Black Travelers Network, you know that we host Rio Carnival in Brazil and it's an annual event. And so we obviously we have a group uh, well, maybe it's not so obvious, but we do have a group that's joining us in R Rio de Janeiro in a couple of months, February. So I'm really excited about that, given the fact that Carnival in Rio did not happen this year. It was the first time in a little more than 100 years that it did not happen due to the pandemic. The last time it did not happen was due to the Spanish flu, which was also another sort of global pandemic. And so folks are just so excited and happy that the country of Brazil is bringing back carnival because having a year and no carnival is just, I mean, it's not something we've ever experienced in our lifetime. And so I'm super, super excited about this upcoming trip. And so it inspired me to do this impromptu video because I want to just identify reasons why we are all about Carnival here at Black Travelers Network. And so the first reason is Carnival is the ultimate party experience around the world. It does not matter where you are. There are usually countries around the world, especially those countries that have some form of history that connects directly to Europe. So when it comes to the French being colonizers, when it comes to the Portuguese colonizing different parts of the world, you know, these were perpetuators of this whole concept of carnival. But please don't mistake that for thinking that it was Europe who created the carnival. I've seen so many people talk about how Europe, Europeans created carnival and it's just not true. Carnival comes directly out of Africa. And so I'm working on a video that my goal is to re release it next Saturday where I go a lot more in depth about carnival and the origins of carnival and how you get the Brazilian carnival and experience that you uh, get today. But I love the fact that it is the one thing in the world that truly connects many of us in the diaspora together. No matter where you are in the world, carnival is a part of the fabric of the culture. And it plays out in different ways, depending on where in the world you are. It is, in fact, the truest form of Pan-Africanism, because so much of how it's produced and what it symbolizes is connected to our experience uh, as Black people in different parts of the world. The other reason why I love Carnival is because it is an industry. And so the important part of Carnival being an industry involves the fact that it produces a lot of jobs. There's a lot of tourism that is attracted to certain areas around the world because of the Carnival celebration. There's also the food that goes along with it and the music and the celebration of the culture. I mean, when we talk about an industry, we're talking about the ability for multiple people to actually make money directly from an event. I mean, you have seamstresses, who costume designers, musicians, you have people who are in transportation. I mean, lodging facilities, restaurants, bars, DJs. I mean, so many people from the bottom to the top of any society has the ability to monetize off of the carnival celebration. And so I really like that because 
it allows for people who are creative or people who have special skills or special talents that maybe they couldn't necessarily showcase or don't necessarily showcase on a regular day. I mean, Carnival invites that energy and that excitement and allows for some of the people who tend to be different or some of the people who tend to be uh, specialists in certain areas. It gives them a platform. It gives them uh, a way of, of making money and it also most importantly it goes back into the community carnival is a real investment into various communities around the world because in order for you to get a carnival production happening whether it's a carnival parade or a carnival uh, event you need people who are from the community and are vested in the process and invested in and being a part of the best carnival celebration ever you need those people active and involved at every level before any costumes are ever even put on so i like that it's an industry and the last bit i want to mention because this video wasn't meant to be too long the other thing that i love about carnival is it is one of the few structural systems in our society where there's a direct effort to pass the torch on to the next generation. You know, Carnival exists in so many different parts of the world because the elders pass down the traditions to the young people, to the next generation. And that next generation caught the baton and stepped into those roles and filled those shoes when it was their time to shine. And I just, love that this is a tradition that has happened around the world for hundreds of years. I mean, when you really think about it, even if you think about some of the wealthiest families in the world, you still have challenges with people who are successful having a clear cut system to pass knowledge and information down to that next generation so they don't have to start from square one and that's what i absolutely love about carnival is that that part of the experience is always weaved into the process i've seen so many children so many different children's parades all around the world during carnival it is an a deliberate important part especially when it comes to brazilian carnival to have there be young people who are involved in their own carnival parades, putting on their parades, decorating their costumes. Like it is a really fantastic way of making sure that this tradition that has lasted for thousands of years when it comes to carnival, making sure that it continues. And those are my reasons, those are my top reasons why I get so excited about carnival. I will tell you we are starting early when it comes to mobilizing our group of travelers to head off to Brazil for Carnival. So if you are interested in joining us in Brazil for Carnival, preferably Rio Carnival in 2023, now really is the time to go to our website, hop on our mailing list. We will send you information about Carnival. We do have a lot going on but we want to start early we want to get people excited early uh, about carnival because it's long 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 overdue okay you guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for listening and getting to the end of this video until next time